Hi everyone, Mikey Bly here and today we're back with Reset Episode 1, The Thief of All Hearts. My word, I haven't done this for nearly a month. Um, Michael's month has come to an end. Um, I hope you enjoyed the shenanigans. I hope you really uh, really got the chance to watch some of the some of the stuff that me and Mike, me, Mike, me and me and the other Mike get up to. I'll tell you. It was, it, was, it, was, it was really fun, actually. I really enjoyed um, going through all those vids. There's just so many. Anything that me and Michael do together from now on, though, I'm going to try and make sure I don't sit on it for as long. But um, I really hope you took something out of it, got some entertainment out of it. And, uh, you know, if you didn't get the chance to donate to his campaign, then uh, I hope you uh, at least uh, got the chance to check in some of the materials about ME and read up on it a little bit. And I don't want to go on about it too much here because obviously we're back and back to the normal vids now and I don't want to um, detract from the game we're playing here. But uh, just a little, just a little heads up, right? Because it has been a month. It's been a while. So I, I'm, I'm glad to be back with you all again. One on one, just me and you. Yeah, let's get this done, huh? So yes, where we left this before, we, um, yeah, we, we, we got back out of the warehouse. Um, we found Mikhail. And uh, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, Gerald went a little bit ragey and kicked the hell out of something. Actually, he didn't. He died in the battle. But, you know, that's stuff. What, what can you do? Okay, so yeah, don't know what to expect. But um, let's just see. Um, Mike kind of walloped her head pretty hard in the last episode, too. So it's going to be interesting to see if she's recovered from that or if she has a lovely bit of concussion slash memory loss going on. Um, only one way to find out, and that's to continue playing the game. <clears throat> there. Breakfast ready and everything's all cleaned up. I already checked up a bit on Mikhail as well. I'm assuming this is Gerald because he's the one that does the cooking after all. From his page, it seems like he's quite a popular person. He plays with the school's baseball team and there's a tournament coming soon. There's nothing else that could be linked with his disappearance since most of his war posts, including the most recent ones, are from Valerie. Sorry, we didn't find Mikhail. We found a kid. A kid whose name I forgot. Dang it, but he had like a slingshot around his neck. My memory is terrible. I'd say I haven't found anything much to go on with. Hmm. Mike hasn't woken up yet. Guess it's understandable since the both of us went to bed at 3 a.m. 3 a.m.'s not that late. Amateurs? Who am I kidding? I can't even make it to midnight these days. I'm, a, I'm an old man. I'm a frail, fragile old man. <sighs> what really happened last night? All I'm able to comprehend is that I change it to someone else, and I don't even remember any of it. Right, neither will Mike, maybe, after that head injury. Everything suddenly went black when Mike was down. Suddenly the vestigial was already defeated when I finally came to my senses. It, it laid you out, mate. It, everything suddenly went black because the boss knocked you out. Bloody... Other, other, other peeps had to sort that out for you. Mike's defense mechanism theory seems to be the most logical explanation for now. I wonder if that was actually my true form. You haven't even seen my final form. Hello? A guest? This early? Coming! Be right there. Just let me take my penny off. Good morning. Oh, Valerie. Oh, geez. Yeah, we did say to come back, didn't we? Um, but we haven't really had the chance to do much yet because we nearly died last night. M morning. Uh, please sit down. Thank you. Can I get you something? Just made some breakfast. Eggs? Sausages? Toast? Yogurt? Cereal? Anything? Bagel? Water is enough, thank you. Oh, glad to know I put all the effort in for nothing. Just plain tap water it is then. Uh, Alright, please wait a moment. Sure. I thought you should interact with girls other than Mike. And sometimes I don't even consider her as your typical girl. That's because she ain't. We know this. So if she's not around, I don't really know what I should say. Yeah, we need her there. Elbowed us in the ribs to tell us when we're being stupid. That's what we really need. Is Mike here? Oh, um... She's still sleeping. But for once, it's not laziness this time. It's a lion that's deserved for a change. I see. Working hard on the investigation, I assume. Working hard on not dying. Y yes. <clears throat> Wouldn't really call it investigation, but there might be some clues from what happened yesterday. Ah, uh, here you go. I'll put a little cocktail umbrella in it just to make it seem like you're having something nicer than water. 
I'm just kidding. I'm, I've got to stop ragging on water. Water's awesome. Drink lots of water. Super good for you. Thank you. Do you mind if I drink it right away? I'm really thirsty. What, you couldn't get yourself a glass of water before you left your house? Sure, just drink. Why, why would you? Wait, why is she asking permission to drink a glass of water? I hand you the water. You drink the water. That's kind of how it works. I really hope Mike wakes up soon. So, so any news? Well, we did find some things. We didn't find what we were looking for, but we found something. Oh, um... Okay, hang on. Can I click on these? I forget. Yeah, I can. So... Um... Where's the... Uh, missing the regulars. Uh, got from... Anyway, no, that's not what we're after. Oh, um... Antares was the... Yes, Antares was the kid. Was it... Where's... Oh, maybe we just got to go to people specifically for this one. People. Um, so nothing to do with him, him, him. Wait, I took... Where's that? Where's Antares? Where are you? There, there we go. Um... Oh, is this... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Was that not the right clue? Huh? Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Why do I keep buggering up these clue selections? What? What important clue did we find? But... What? This one? Oh, okay. Alright then. Turns out your boyfriend isn't the only one who's disappeared. What? A little boy went missing yesterday, along with his brother named Regulus. I believe there's a relation, somehow. There's... Yeah, they're brothers. That's the relation, right? Uh-huh. Huh? Good. Huh? Yeah, I'm a bit rusty. Uh, actually, that's probably funny the most of the stuff I usually chuck out there, so, you know. Maybe being away has been good for me. Um, but yeah, I believe there's a relation. Uh, obviously, loads of missing blokes. All, all little, all little, all, all, like, all male. Something not... A coincidence about that, right? Surely. While we we're investigating, we happened to find the little boy, but there's no sign of his brother or Mikhail. Maybe the little boy can tell where they are. Sorry, he has no clue either. He's just lucky to be alive, to be honest. A little bit traumatized at the moment. I, I see. Uh, that doesn't mean our lead ends there, though. We'll investigate the place where we found him once again. I don't think we did finish off everything in that warehouse. Everything's got to stem from there, right? Is there anything I can do to help? I'm going to give you the same answer I gave you yesterday. Too dangerous. I'll happily take Mike with me because she's just about hard-headed enough to not die, but I don't know about anybody else. You can just leave it to us. I'm sure we... No, I've decided. I want to help you out. You're going to... You're going to forcefully help us out. You're not going to take no for an answer, huh? I can't just sit around doing nothing. I have to be involved. But what well, you already are. You came to tell us that you needed help. That's, that's involved. Uh, well, I think... As you wish? Great. Good job, Gerald. I don't really want her to come either. She might be a bother and make our investigation a bias. Mm, so it's either Mike who gets me killed or Valerie. Or both. I'm kind of stuck in the middle here without really many options. I think we should start by visiting his house. Now, wait a second. I don't think I can just waltz into his house without getting death glares from his family. Why not? They'll know if I explain. <clears throat> Picture this scenario, if you, if you will. Uh, good morning, Mr. and Mr. Mikhail. This is a detective I'm hiring to search for Mikhail, and he totally does not look like a thug. Oh, and also he has, like, a high school girl as his assistant. All good. Cool. Let's, uh, let's, let's get on with it, shall we? I think you have a point. I should introduce you to my cousin, then. All right, this is my cousin, who I've never mentioned or anything else before. He just happens to be really good at doing detective stuff. So, cool. 
be cool. Oh, and that, that girl that's with him. Um, uh, it's his uh, little sister, which I guess makes her my cousin as well. Um, yeah. No, this this plan ain't gonna work either. Good morning, Mr. Mr. Mrs. Miss Kyle. This is my cousin, and even though he's kind of scary and shady, I promise you it's not a family thing. I think it'll be easier if you wait until Mike wakes up. I'm not really the people person part of the agency. Yeah. Yeah, pretend that Mike's your cousin instead. That's going to go ten times better for you. That's for sure. So what is it that you do exactly? I'll beat shit up. I'm the muscle. Is it not obvious? I mean, Mike's pretty scary too. So I mean, uh, by the same token, don't get her upset because she will totally kick your butt from here to Timbuktu. But I'm the, I'm the musculiest muscles. I'm the big muscle. I investigate. Not in the way people expect me to. By beating people up until they spill their beans. Ooh, spill their beans? Not even spilling the beans. I make them spill their beans. I don't even want to know what that entails. I don't want to go too deep into it. I don't want to think about it at all in any way, shape or form. Well, that would be utterly pointless because then I'd be in jail in no time. I beat up demons and stuff that you can't see. I, I mean, I, I should just shut up and just, just stop because I'm not. I'm not doing myself any favours here. With the current clues we've got, I'll try to make something out of it. You're free to wait for Mike to wake up or join me. I think I should just wait for Mike to wake up. Then we can go to Mikhail's house together. After all, I know you don't want her to see you going outside with another girl. That's not that got to do with anything. Mike's not the jealous type. I don't think. It's not that kind of a relationship. Well, what other reason can there be for your stuttering when I mention the idea of following you around, hmm? It's not because I think she's jealous, it's just because I think she would tell me off because she already told me that I shouldn't bring you with us on the investigation. I don't think it's got anything to do with jealousy. It's about protecting my face. <clears throat> Lady, I just don't want another chair to be thrown at me. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I don't, I've, I've had enough furniture to the face lately. Fine then. Sorry for making you wait. Gerald! I want breakfast! Oh. It has arisen. And it is already demanding things from me. Fantastic. Um, Please wait for a moment. There you are. What, what are you doing in my room? Blah. And I thought I could jump scare you. Right. So we can rule out concussion then. She's acting completely normal. Try it again once you manage to wake up before lunchtime. Valerie's here. You'll be going out with her to Mikhail's house and getting some clues. I want to eat. You can eat before going. I've made breakfast because you know I'm super nice and cool and a great cook and everything. Okay. Wait a second. You been together with her the whole time I was sleeping? Talking about the investigation, what do you want me to come and do? Kick you up the ass? No, you needed the rest, I assume. Uh, yes. What the hell were you two doing together? Talking about the investigation? Nothing. Don't say nothing, that's even more suspicious than saying something. There's no way. I, I don't believe you. Oh, come on, I've been together with you longer than that and we did absolutely nothing. Except throwing chairs. Oh, sorry, that was just you. Oh. You have a point. Good. Now I reckon we can all go in peace. Okay. But I'll need to take a bath first. So get out. Is the bath in my room? Do I have an ensuite? Why are you chasing me out of my own room? Whoops. <laughs> Still sleepy. Alright, I was going to say. Better just be sleepiness. We're off then. Wait, wait a second. Can I have a few papers from your notebook? I need to gather some clues too. Actually, just take it. I still remember what I wrote yesterday. Rip me a few paper, ple papers, ple 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 <laughs> papers, please. All right. If you insist. Didn't realize she hadn't. I. What's it called again? Um. Photographic memory. There's another word for it, though, isn't there? There's a fancier name for it than that. I was going to say eidetic memory. Is that right too? It is eidetic memory, because I had to look it up. I'm just really impressing myself for remembering that term. See you later, Gerald. 
Uh, yeah, see ya. I'll do my best as well. I feel like I'll be ten times safer on my own, to be honest. All right, then. Now I'm just going to take care of that prize money and try to locate those vestigials. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's back. I thought you were already dead. I'm here for my payment. Totally sorted out your weird ghost issue. What are you talking about? you got to prove it to us. All right. Follow me in the warehouse, then. Yep, all right, then. Let's go to the warehouse and see if you can stay there without being attacked. The two goons stare at each other before nodding hesitantly. And <laughs> they call themselves members of the fight club. I could take these two down with my little pinky finger. Well? Ah, we got up, mate. You did a good job. Yeah, I mean, you could have just gone and checked before I got here, couldn't you? Although, they could have then just claimed that they did it, couldn't they? How, how am I proving that I... Well, they could have easily just pretended I didn't do it. Okay. No, let me have my money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a sec. I knew it. I knew this wasn't going to be as straightforward as it was painted out to be. Painted out to be? I'll just keep making loads of phrases up. I shouldn't make a note of them all. What? We said that the boss was offering 3,000 duck rats to those who could get rid of those things so that the club could run again. They are going to say that they did it, aren't they? And? But we could just tell them that we were the ones who got rid of them. Capiche? Hey, where did Capiche come from? I didn't know you guys were like cliche Italian mobsters. Ah, oh, come on, homies. Play nice and pay up to be. Just call them homies. That's only going to antagonize a minute. I'm going to have to beat these two suckers up, aren't I? Well, if we don't want to, what are you going to do about it, huh? Call the busters? Now I'm going to beat you up. I talk it. Are you not worried that I could take the two of you out, like, with a snap of my fingers, considering I just got rid of a problem that you couldn't resolve? Hey, I'm no rat. I did the job and came back alive. What else do you want from me? We won't know them you anymore. Scram, run back to your mama. You guys are stupid. These guys are stupid. They, these, these, these guys are... These guys are stupid. Fine, fine. I just have one question left. Do you like fist sandwiches? Not just knuckle sandwiches. Entire fist sandwiches. They are... Uh, what if I just clock you guys in the head and run with your money? Huh. Now this guy's talking. You want a piece of meat? What's to say they've even got the money on them, though? As a guy who couldn't really beat up those things at the warehouse, I wouldn't dare challenge the guy who did, see? See? I know the score. I know it was all these plot points that are going to slip out here. I can read it. Let's make this quick, okay? I have two mouths to feed, and they ain't yours, although I'm going to feed your mouths with the aforementioned fists. There, let's see how much they do have in their wallets. Gift certificate, one free massage. I mean, maybe Mike, maybe Mike wants this. What else is going in here? Oh, nothing. Damn it. Huh. 3,500 ducrats. 500 for the trouble then. Cool, I came up 500 more than I would have. If they'd just been sensible and given me the money, they wouldn't have ended up being totally broke, would they? Uh, you pay for this. Yeah, you say that, but I'll just clean both of you out quite easily. Thanks for the help, man. Here, five door crats each for each of you, since you obviously need money to buy some ice packs. Oh, ice packs for the bruises and the burn. Fantastic. And that's that. To stop the old hands and uh, let's see what's written in Mike's notes so far. Hmm. I see. So Antares and Alicia are around the park. I should stop there to see if he remembers anything. Maybe his brother knows Mikhail and they could be disappearing for the same reason. If that is true, then it all points to the vestigials. That would also mean that there really is a demon in town and life will become a whole lot easier, slash harder, slash easier. Alright, which way is it to the park? Can't be that hard to find it, if Mike can. Oh, if it isn't Mr. Gerald! 
Wow, he's really as big as you say. Right, right? I want to grow up to become as big as him. It's a bit of a burden, kid. Believe you, me. I might look all cool and, you know, super awesome and superhero-esque. But, you know, I bang my head on lots of door frames. And um, I get into lots of fights without really wanting to. So be careful what you wish for. You have very large arms, Mr. Gerald. Do, do you go to the gym? Nope. Just naturally buff. Uh, well... Oh, it helps that I beat up lots of stuff. That's always a good workout for the arms, you know, giving it the old punches. You can tell I've never punched anything in my life, right? Of course he does. Otherwise, he wouldn't have grown up to be so big. You know, just, just like, plenty of milk and plenty of beef. Quite easy, really. Well... <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you could just stop, you're going to make me blush. I, I, I don't really need the ego boost. All right, uh, where's your brother, Mr. Gerald? He, you have a brother? Is he as big as you? Ah, quite wiry, actually, but believe you me, just as strong. Actually, she's a girl, and we're not related. A girl? Doesn't look like it, what, just because of the short hair? Classic, judging people on their appearances. Antares, if you want to learn anything from me and you's interactions, learn that you go and do that, right? That's not how that's not how you that's not how you judge people. You don't know. You can't tell just by looking at somebody, Antares. You should hang out with me for a bit. I'll 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 teach you the ways of being a good a good boy in more ways than one, right? Maybe I'll teach you to be strong uh, emotionally as well as physically. Although in real life, I couldn't teach anybody any of that stuff. Because I'm useless. <clears throat> I actually came here because she wrote that she met you yesterday. You're Alicia, right? Oh, right. She's the girl who asked about the flower festival yesterday. Flower festival? Oh, yeah, she didn't mention it to me, did she? No, she didn't. Why in the world would Mike be asking her on a flower festival? But I feel like I'm going to get in trouble if I don't get her a flower. Even if I didn't know about the festival or anything about how it works. Yep, that's the day where guys give flowers to the girls they like. You should give her one too, Mr. Gerald. Okay, don't put me on the spot here or put any pressure on me. Although I would like to read more about the different types of flowers and what they all mean. Because I'm sure there's like friendship flowers and love flowers and uh, let's fuck flowers. I'm sure there's different types of flowers, right? But uh, you've got to be careful to make sure we give her the right one. Because if we just go and pluck a random flower from somewhere and give her it, you know she's going to be like, what does this mean? What does this one mean? And then she's going to go on a big, huge, bloody detective hunt and find out what every single flower is and what it means. She's going to find out that flower I gave her means something like, you know, you're an annoying brat. And then I'm going to get more chairs chucked at me. Jeez, I'm sorry. That was a bit of a rant. <clears throat> flowers don't really seem to suit her. Wow, so you can tell she's a girl? I mean, her chest doesn't really... Sh Antara's really seriously, dude? You're walking down a really, really sketchy street here. You're on thin ice, Budski. If Mike was here, she would have launched you. Right? She isn't... She's... Does she... No. She, she doesn't put up with that kind of stuff. Well, she might not launch you. She might launch me for not stopping you from saying it quicker. Antares, th that's rude. Thank you, Alicia. There, Alicia will teach Antares how to be decent. Whoops. It's okay, kid. You're not the only one. Hey, Gerald, don't bring me into this as speaking as you. Don't do that to me. Don't make me look like an idiot as well. Ahem. Before this turns into unwanted conversation, too late, I will have to ask you a few questions about your brother Regulus. Will you help us find him? I'll do my best. Don't look so sad, Alicia. So, uh, what does your brother look like? Uh, hold on. I think I have a photo. What is with everybody in this game wandering around with photos of people? I know some people do it as a standard, but when I was a kid, I never walked around with a picture of anybody in my wallet. I didn't even have a wallet. I couldn't think of it. I used to run around with pockets full of change. Regulus has been added to clues. Hooray. And Taras hands me his photo. Seems like a boy around Mike's age. Does your brother have any friends by the name Mikhail? I don't know anyone who goes by that name. As if his older brother's going to tell him every little friendship that he has, though. I mean, I, I, okay, I didn't really have any siblings, but 
step-siblings, but I mean, I didn't really go around talking to them about every single friend I had. I, I see. Is your brother in a baseball club at school? No, he's going to college in a few months. Cool, cool, okay. He plans on taking Antares with him. What, to college? Just, just don't try and do any keg stands, all right? Hmm, so Regulus is a college student. He's older than Mike then. By a little bit. By like a scoosh. By like a smoosh. Actually, I don't know how the bloody hell the schooling system works outside of my own country. Um, I'm still even confused by the schooling system in Canada, actually. So I really need to get my head around how that works. College is what American, North Americans call university, right? So university is 18 onwards. Whereas college back home is 16 to 18. And it's optional. You finish school at 16... Man, I'm already going to go into a big thing about how it works. So back home, we, you've got like, you've got nursery, which I guess is kindergarten, which is like, I don't know. I guess it could be technically zero to five. And then you've got primary school, which is five to 11. And then you've got secondary school, which is 11 to 16. And then if you want to do two extra years, you can do like sixth form college -y stuff. I mean, I don't think they're all called sixth forms, but college essentially 16 to 18, where you can do a couple of additional qualifications it's not like university degree level it's kind of like diploma level or something i'm trying to think what the equivalent is and then after that when you're 18 you can then go to university if you've got good qualifications from your college years so and the, and the qualifications you get when you turn 16 you do your gcses i think they've changed the names i think they've actually changed the names of these but they used to be called the gcses and then the college stuff was called A-levels, and then university is like, you know, that's diploma, all that kind of stuff, your BA, your whatever. I think that's pretty much the same, near enough across the board. And now you know loads of random stuff about the UK schooling system that you did not need to know. You're welcome. Um, what's your brother up to lately? Just to go back to the conversation. I can imagine this Joel just thinking all this random stuff in his head, and the kids are just staring at him going, yeah, Mister? Miss? Hello? Nope, got eyes glazed over, he's gone. So what, 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 what's your brother up to lately? I, I don't really understand, but he always seemed to be busy. Whenever I asked why, he would tell me not to worry about anything. I heard that both Antares and Regulus are orphans. This might have been regarding their future. Oh, right. That's probably why he was going to take him to college then, because the kid had nowhere else to go or live, I suppose. What else did you find when you were looking for him? Nothing. Just the fact that he was last seen there by some of his fellas. They didn't know what he was up to either. Some of his fellas. Hmm. Seems like I shouldn't burden them too much with questions. I'll have to find out about him myself. That's all for now. I'll ask some other people about your brother. Just wait here and don't go all by yourself again, okay? I'm not going to be there to save the day every single time. Yes, Mr. Gerald. Oh, can I ask you something? I suppose... Yes. Would everything be all right? That's a big question, kid. That's a bigger question than you. It's a bigger question than her. It's a bigger question than me. In this particular scenario that we're in right now, I'd love to say yes. Because, you know, like I said, I've got the muscles. I've got the... I was going to say brains. But I mean, I think between me and Mike, we've got one brain. And we've got the good investigative skills. This'll be cool. We'll, 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 we'll probably come out of this. Probably come out of it, okay? But after that, I can't predict the future, kid. You're just gonna have to wait and see. It's part of the fun of life. And death. Uh, maybe less so that part, though. Oh, um... Oh, this text and this background is hard to read. Um... I can't promise. I don't want to... Look, I know they're kids, but I can't promise anything like that. Gotta be honest. To be honest, I can't say anything at this point. All you have to know is that I'll do everything in my capacity to save your brother. Thank you. Not really reassuring, but thank you. Well, what do you want? Guess I'll see you later then. Be strong. Yeah, if that guy's getting my brother, you'll punch him like yesterday, right? Mr. Gerald, please do your best with the punching and stuff. Uh, I'll do plenty of punching. All right then. That's a good little confidence booster. Okay, with that being taken care of, 
how much is a flower in a bottle thing anyway? He's actually thinking about it. Bless his big goofy heart. I don't know if Mike's expecting anything from me, but I guess she'd get angry if I didn't give her one. You see? That's using the noodle. That's the survival instinct kicking in right there. And she seems to be pretty upset nowadays because of it, so I might be able to cheer her up somehow. Fine, fine. I'll buy one of those things. In this note, it says that Corrin's shop sells a lot of them. Let's see if I can get one with a discount. Just uh, give them the old threats, you know? Oh, uh... The lovely shop you got here would be a sh terrible shame if oops this shelf fell over. I'm sure we're not that kind of person. Great, we get more corn, but we're not getting more corn yet. We're getting more corn next time because I'm all out of time. Wow, that 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 breezed by. Jeez, the time flies when I'm playing games and get sucked into the story like this. It helps when all the characters you're playing are just so fun. I, I'm glad to be back with this game again, actually. I, I, I have missed it. it. Took me a bit of a while to get back at the swing of the, everything with the characters' names and some of the plot, so apologies for being a bit rusty on that. Sensible Mikey would have actually checked the previous video and remembered all this stuff, but Sensible Mikey's out to lunch at the moment, so you just get the stupid Mikey instead. But uh, yeah, I am glad to be back with this. Uh, and oh yes, uh, yes, 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 the devil did tell me last time as well that I was being stupid in the battles. Mike's a long distance fighter so i don't have to get her right next to enemies to punch them you can punch them from a distance and i would have realized that if i looked at the battle menu a little bit closer so that might make things easier and hopefully will make things easier going forward so that's one thing i wanted to wanted to point out that you might have noticed too um but yeah we'll be back with more of this very soon um you will notice as well that i am um, i'm doing a lot more streaming lately I'm really trying to ramp up my live stuff because I like talking to people at the same time as when I'm playing stuff. So you, you'll see a lot of my, um, my, my, oh gosh, I'm going to try and sound all trendy. A lot of my VODs are going to pop up on this channel now as well because I don't want people to miss out on them. Uh, so you'll see a lot of those popping up because I've saved a few up from the last month or so. So you'll, you'll see those spliced in between these kind of these regular pre-recorded videos. It's just, again, You'll see him quite a lot, but it's just because I want to make sure I get them all caught up with and uploaded, and then I'll try and get onto a kind of regular schedule with them. Uh, but yeah, heck, I, I stream regularly over there, so keep an eye on my schedule over there and pop in and say hi if you get the chance. It'd be awesome. I'd love to. I'd love to talk to some of you. It'd be great. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll link all that stuff below too, uh, just so I can keep you keep you up to date with all the stuff that's going on, uh, including my new Discord server as well. Heck yeah. All right, uh, we're pushing, we're pushing in towards some kind of community direction. That's kind of what I want to do, right? I want to keep all these cool, all you cool peeps together in one place and have a good old chat about stuff and get games to, uh, so you can throw games at me too, easier, whenever you want, right? Uh, anyway, I'll have more on that at a different time. I don't want to swamp this video with all that stuff. So um, thanks for tuning in, everybody. That's what I say at the end of my Twitch video. See, I went to Twitch brain. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up. Uh, don't forget to warm the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Um, and if you have any of the game recommendations for me, you can chuck them in the description, description, the comments below. It's a write off this, isn't it? I'm gonna call it. <laughs> I have been Mikey Bly, and I hope you all have yourselves a fantastic morning, afternoon, evening, or night, and I will see you all next time around. Bye for now. <laughs>